to another edition of Microshock.com. This time, we're in Toronto, Ontario for the 2009 Fan Expo. Uh, myself and the always amazing Rhonda Bogman will be covering the event in our fanboyish kind of ways, um, seeing what we can find out, seeing if we can con any B-list celebrities to, you know, say some words in front of a camera, or at least let them take our picture with them. Um, so, uh, anyways, so here we are. Well, here I am. Um, Rhonda hasn't gotten here yet. She'll be here later this evening. Uh, it's the first day of the convention, which is Friday, August 28th. Um, I'm staying in the, possibly the most fanciest hotel I've ever been in in my life. Um, one of the perks of working for Microshock is that sometimes you stay in swanky digs. Then you have to pay for it. But that's okay. Uh, I'll just worry when I get my credit card bill. Uh, so, it's the first day of the convention, it doesn't start until 4, right now it is about 10 a.m., so I got a bunch of hours to kill. Um, ride up was somewhat uneventful, it's a bus ride from Ottawa to Toronto, which is about 4 hours of driving through nothing in the pitch black at night. Um, in today's itinerary, there's not a whole lot going on, it is the first day of the convention, it ends at 9 o'clock, so, you know, it's about 5 hours today. Um, big names on the list, though, who are going to be there. Um, for all you comic book dorks out there, um, Len Wayne is going to be doing an autograph session. He's, I think he's even doing something today. Those of you who don't know, Len Wayne is one of, the, one of the biggest pioneers in comic books from the 60s. He edited a lot of uh, Marvel's old uh, comic book titles. He uh, wrote Swamp Thing. Um, he also was the editor of uh, Alan Moore's Watchmen and a billion other things that you know I'm probably missing or forgetting and I really don't really care to list off. You all have Wikipedia, you know where to go. Um, anyway, uh, other than that, uh, it's a pretty tame day. I'm just gonna meander around, try to get a lay of the land and uh, figure out where things are for Saturday, which is the big day because uh, the guest of honor, Bruce Campbell, is gonna be there. Um, also, Roger Corman and uh, so, I mean, I'm going to be, I'm mostly there to see Roger Corman. I mean, Bruce Campbell's awesome and everything, but uh, I have a greater appreciation for Corman, uh, the king of the bees, if you will. Um, so, and he d very rarely does these conventions. Uh, this is going to be my first convention, and uh, after the whole experience, I'm quite sure I'll have a good understanding as to why Corman doesn't do that a whole lot. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to try to meet him, get his autograph. Uh, Maybe I'll go bug Bruce Campbell on Sunday. Um, other than that, there are a lot of great people who are there. Uh, Linda Hamilton, who was Sarah Connor in the first two Terminator movies. Uh, Lou Ferrino, the Incredible Hulk, is going to be here there. Um, oh, a plethora of Star Trek people, including Letter Nimoy, who I'm going to probably avoid like the plague. I don't feel like being in a lineup full of Trekkies. <sighs> Maybe I will. Maybe I will and I'll commend him for being in Invasion of the Body Snatchers. You know, commend him for being in things other than Star Trek. Um, that might make him a little happier. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go meander around downtown Toronto, try not to get stabbed, shot, or otherwise. And um, hopefully we'll have some more later. <laughs> okay, so we're dates here at the Fan Expo. Rhonda's finally showed up. You're gonna be coming to the convention. So what are you wearing? Oh, it's my t-shirt. It's my Microshock t-shirt. Yeah, which you can buy online at an affordable price. Absolutely. I don't know what that affordable price is, but I don't come with it. Um, no. I ain't cheap. <laughs> anyway, so we're, we're going into the second day of the convention. Um, I meandered around the first day, you know, making my presence felt, mostly making fun of people in costumes, in, in a nice way. He means it affectionately. Yeah, exactly. Um, also, um, ignore the sound of my voice. Uh, it's hay fever season. I, yeah, I'm a little stuffy myself. But I will say, oh, welcome to Toronto. It's beautiful. It's beautiful here. I didn't know it was going to be beautiful here. Oops. <laughs> and I'm kind of sad I have to go home. 
Who said you had to go home? <laughs> like I said, defect. It's something about that lack of Look, Canadian citizenship. I don't know. We can we can grant you amnesty. You just gotta, you know, you know, claim refugee status. Works all the time. I'm Unless not gonna spend like my refugee status chained up in God knows where in some closet in your apartment. I know yeah, like how these a, stories end. You say that like it's a bad thing. All I'm going to do is <laughs> force you to write trashy romance novels, you know? I do that already. Tell me what you need. But it's not the same unless I'm putting a wood block between your feet. <laughs> you know? And breaking the odd key off the, off the typewriter. Oh, kudos to Webmaster Perron, too. Uh, the uh, Swank Hyatt? Holy God! Yeah, I, I got some footage of that for... It's like... Japanese infused and all zen and it's really nice you know we have red roof inns in uh, Canton I don't know you guys have swanky Hyatt's here yeah pretty much for the love of Christ what man is the white balance I should change the white balance because like you're like it's all like this blue glow you kind of, actually you look kind of angelic <laughs> <laughs> leave it we know better oh yeah dude so, is this like the power circle um I think this is possibly this is uh I love Toronto Fan Expo already. This, this is, is this this is a, a roving pack of cosplayers. They're common in Canada. They they usually travel in packs. Um, they subsist off of anime and breadcrumbs. I like the guy in the end with the phallic uh, flag that he's waving there and not waving as the case maybe. Uh okay. So uh, that's uh, that's your first uh, first glimpse. Are you ready? Holy shit, there's already a lineup right out the fucking door, man. This line is so long, I have a funny feeling I'll be giving Webmaster Perron my cash and uh, I'll be heading back to the room. Yeah. The entire population of Toronto is standing in this line. Quite possibly. I, I told you you should have bought your ticket in advance. But I didn't know I was coming until the day before. That, well, you got me there. Well, we, <laughs> could, we could have bought it in advance. Just to, oh wait, we don't have a printer. No. Um, who, who waits in this line? All these people? Yeah, Rhonda Bachman doesn't wait in line. Rhonda Bachman sends people in to do things for her. Really? Really. <laughs> that might be the only elitist thing you ever hear me say. Actually, it looks like it's moving along quite quite briskly. This line. Oh, look, see, look, over there. It's moving <laughs> rather quickly. But, hi. Thanks. This line is 20 minutes. I had to wait for like 15. I'm just saying. Stop following me. Hi. Hey, so 20 minutes has been shortened to 20 seconds. The line wraps around the goddamn building and it goes on like longer than I can actually see. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go do touristy Toronto stuff. Ah, look at that, that's right. And I'm gonna give Nick the cash to go in and get the people I wanna see. James Duvall, Emma Caulfield, Roger Corman. Quite frankly, if he just gets James Duvall, my mission here will have been accomplished. I mean, an autograph of James Duvall, not like him wrapped up like in the trunk of you want a rental camera car. for the memories. Maybe. Yeah. See you soon, James Duvall. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I'm heading back over to the Fan Expo by myself. Uh, Ron has decided the lineup is a little too daunting. I don't blame her. Um, I think it's going to be a short little stint on my part, mostly because of the fact that I hate large crowds of people. What the hell am I doing at a convention is anyone's guess, but uh, I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, i got to go meet up with the trauma people a little later. And I also have been sent on a couple of autograph missions, so uh, we'll see how that goes. So, uh, today is the last day of the Fan Expo. Um, yesterday was actually pretty cool. Uh, I met, you know, a couple of the B-listers. Lou Ferrino, Avery Brooks, um, and the like. Um... Met J. Michael Straczynski. Those were pretty awesome. Um, and then I have a um, check out my uh, little interview with the uh, Troma team and uh, Lloyd Kaufman. That's uh, that was really great of them. I, you know, so uh, watch out for that. And thanks again to the Troma team for helping us out. Um, <clears throat> so uh, Rana had to leave. Uh, she had to go back to Cleveland uh, for other you know pressing matters. Unfortunately, she couldn't stick around. And, Unfortunately, she couldn't make it into the con, which was too bad. I mean, she kind of found out at the last minute that she could go, and then, uh, you know, they sold out a... Well, they didn't sell out of tickets, essentially because of the uh, the popularity, because Bruce Campbell was going to be there. There was literally a lineup going, like, down the street, uh, and 
Um, so due to fire code regulations, they can only allow so many people into the convention and yeah, they weren't admitting any more people. It's probably going to be crazy like that again today. And thankfully I bought my, my weekend pass. So uh, I'm in <laughs> either way. Um, so anyways, uh, final thoughts about fan expo, uh, is that yeah, for my first con, you know, it was, it was exciting for a little bit. Um, now fan expo is huge, huge. Uh, in that it is one of the few conventions in Canada that actually um, exists. There's not a whole lot of them. Um, and so it generates a lot of friggin' people coming to see it. And um, so if you like large crowds and um, you don't mind that the convention guests are a bit on the impersonal side, I mean, they're just there at the, de the, the desk signing autographs, um, that's really, and then, of course, there's a lot of vendors around. Uh, the only people you could actually really go up and approach and have a conversation with, uh, without them kind of shooing you away later because there was somebody else behind you, uh, was the trauma team, which, I mean, is to be expected, and they're very, um, commendable for that. Um, they're always easily accessible. I knew that before I even showed up. Um, so, um, again, it's a big con if you want to go and, like, you know, pay 40 bucks to see someone, to get someone's signature, um, i.e. Leonard Nimoy or Bruce Campbell, um, okay, go, but, you know, don't expect anything more than just that. I mean, there was a Q, there was Q and A sessions, there was movie screenings and, um, really one of the biggest gripes I had about the convention is that, um, the timing of everything is all in one hour blocks. And, you know, if you wanted to go and see celebrity a celebrity b was like in the same time slot and uh you know if they weren't doing any more showings you're shit out of luck um ditto for the screenings and the q and a's it really depends on what you were looking for um this being my first con i was just going for the atmosphere just getting a a good you know feeling of you know what goes on and and what have you and um wasn't too concerned about who i was going to see who i wasn't going to see um and um, I'm probably, you know, the next one I'm going to go to is probably going to be a smaller scale one. Um, anyways, so if anyone wants to uh, find out which conventions uh, Microshock is going to be going to, uh, at least, at the very least, our very own Rhonda Bogman is going to be going to Cinema Wasteland. And um, that's at the beginning of October. Uh, it's in Ohio. And then, of course, uh, she's also going to the Chiller Convention um, at the end of the month, um, uh, it starts, I think, October 31st and November 1st, uh, if I screwed it up, I'll put a little caption here, um, she'll also be attending that, um, she'll probably be promoting Microshock, and so if you recognize her, she may have some free crap for you, uh, we haven't organized anything yet, but, um, I may make it out to either one or both of these conventions, because, you know, I know that everybody on the internet loves me ever so much, and they would want to see me, uh, I had fans rushing to me in droves at Fan Expo, it was great. Um, but some stories you just never tell. Um, <clears throat> that being said, uh, I'm going to book out of my posh hotel in a couple hours and do one last circuit of the, uh, of the convention. Um, I'm pretty much going to spend most of the day uh, you know, going up to people and having them tell me why they're there. And, uh, of course, I'm going to get that uh, much-coveted Roger Corman autograph. Um, one thing that's really interesting, Roger Corman being such a, a, a iconic B movie um, celebrity. Uh, my friend Megan, she was in his in, in in the line to get an autograph from him yesterday, and she said it was pretty quiet, which is somewhat shocking. I'm gonna see if you know if it's the same thing today, obviously, because I'm gonna go and get his autograph. Um, but uh, you know, the fact that nobody knows who Roger Corman is is a little shocking. Um, but, you know, that's the, that's the nature of things, really, and you get old and gray, and you disappear off the face of the map, and nobody knows who you are anymore, I mean, pretty much everyone is there for Bruce Campbell, and really, the, the reason why I wanted to go was Roger Corman, yeah, uh, no, as much as I love Bruce Campbell, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna wait in a lineup to get a ticket to wait in another lineup to pay 40 bucks to get his autograph. It's not so much the money for the autograph. I don't mind because, I mean, these guys come to these conventions, and I'm sure the conventions are paying them money, but, you know, 
a little extra money in their pocket. I, I don't really blame them. I would do the same damn thing. Um, but, um, you know, just waiting in all these lineups, it's just, it's not worth it as far as I'm concerned. I'd rather just go on eBay or online on the internet somewhere and buy an autograph. Uh, quite frankly, uh, that seems a little more worth my while. I Sure, I don't get that personalized autograph that says, To Nick, thanks for visiting. Sign, blah, 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 blah. Granted, but uh, not too big of a concern for me, really. Um, I would have liked to have met Bruce, but again, lineups, I... I hate large crowds of people, so it's kind of ironic that I'm at a convention full of a large crowd of people. Um, just because, by and large, most people piss me off. Um, just with their stupid meandering, you know. They see something shiny and they stop and they have to gape at it. Like it's some some religious symbol that they have to worship. And it's like, do you... Are these people not aware of their environment? Like, what what's what's going on around them? Or are they so centrally focused that, you know, they don't realize that there are other people moving around behind them. It's absolutely ridiculous that people are like that. Um, <laughs> and there's my condescending rant for the day. Um, one of many, no doubt. Anyways, I'm going to finish packing up and I'm going to check on out. Um, this end, well, this is pretty much the tail end of my video about going to Fan Expo. Um, check out the site. There's likely going to be a write-up. Uh, I'm also going to be... There's also a great plug. These guys who make these awesome Friday the 13th hockey masks that are movie accurate. I'll, I'll have all the details on the website. Um, also going to do, of course, there's the trauma video, which I don't know if I've already put it up yet. I mean, this is all in hindsight. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually, this is probably not going to be up until like a couple weeks after I've actually filmed this. Um, so yeah, expect a couple write-ups about the con, the trauma video, um, and just some plugs about some really awesome people that I did see there. Um, so for anyone at the con who also got one of my Microshock bumper stickers and uh, came to the site, thanks for visiting, by the way, and I uh, hope you come back again. Uh, tell your friends, tell your parents. No, don't tell your parents. Uh, tell your friends and, uh, you know, Come back and visit whenever the hell you want. And uh, don't forget to join our Facebook fan page. We're also on MySpace, blah, blah, blah. Typical promotion shit. It's all over the website. I'm probably putting it right here because I'm such a promotion whore. And oh, I sound so apathetic about all this. I'm, I'm actually, I don't know, I got like a cold or something. Me and Rhonda, we've been sniffling and coughing all, all weekend long. It's ridiculous. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Nick from Microshock.com, signing off. We'll see you again next year.